Trini Girl Natural. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I decided to come on and show you how I prepare and the whole going to the salon drama. What to do when you get there, what to do before you go and which rules is good to break before you go. So if you've been subscribed to me for a while, you know I usually don't use combs, usually don't use brushes, any kind of tools and I usually don't use silicones. I broke all of those rules last night. So this is me using silicones. <laughs> This is me detailing with my Denman brush. This is me using my light tube comb. Why did I decide to do all of that? Basically to end the self-defense. So I'm claiming self-defense on it. For example, I know she's going to give me a blowout, so I'm going to use silicones to help protect my hair from heat damage. I know she's going to... She's really gentle and I love my stylist and that's the second... Coming up soon, I'm going to talk about it in a second. But even the best stylist is still a stylist. So rather than having them have to detangle my hair, I make sure I detangle my hair fully. So I finger detangle first, my usual finger detangling regimen. <laughs> then I use my Denman brush, which is like my favorite detangling tool if I have to use one, to make sure I get every single tangle out. Then I just use the white tooth comb to double, triple, make sure. So when I get there, there should be no knots in my hair. Blowing it out shouldn't be a drama. So it shouldn't be hard on her, and it shouldn't be hard on me. So my main salon tips, do it yourself first, especially detangling, because you can do it gently, you don't know how they're going to do it. They're going to do it how they do it. My st stylist, and I guess most stylists, a lot of stylists, because I, I had one before where I could get away with doing my own hair and just coming for the trim, but most stylists want to shampoo your hair first. They don't feel like you can shampoo your own down hair. So most stylists want to shampoo and condition your hair themselves, and my new, my new stylist, she's one of those. So I can't really put on heat protection at home, so my compromise with that was I'm bringing my own products, so I bring conditioner, deep conditioner with silicones to help protect my hair. And you should also ask them to use a heat protectant as well. So that's the, another tip is to just be brave, speak up, definitely speak up, speak up, let them know. Let them know, hey, this is too tight, this is too hot, this is whatever, you know, this is hurting, whatever. So my stylus is really gentle, like even if she finds a knot, like I don't feel pain when she's getting it out. But I know some people are a lot harsher, so you deserve better, you deserve the best, you deserve a stylus that's gentle on your hair. No matter what your hair situation is, you don't have to settle for somebody pulling out your hair and being rude about your hair and yanking. So keep looking, keep asking, word them out. And when you find a good stylist, make sure you get her card, make sure you get her number. So that even if she moves from that salon, you still can reach her. Because I've had like my favorite stylist, the one who used to let me shampoo and condition my own hair and just show up to get the trim. She left the salon and I didn't have her information, so tears. So I'm at a new salon now, I like the new person, make sure I have her information. Even though she insists on shampooing my hair herself, she's still really gentle with the trims. So when I'm doing a trim in particular, if I know I'm getting a blowout, I like to deep condition, make sure I deep condition recently. So even the day before, I was really lazy yesterday and I didn't deep condition, but I would like to have a protein treatment and a deep condition within the week before I get the trim. I was lazy this time and didn't do either one of them, so that's bad. <laughs> Definitely do that. So I had the trim scheduled for like 1.30, I woke up at like 10 and, well I had done some finger tumbling the night before, so I woke up at like 10 put loads of conditioner in, which you saw, and do, do my finger detangle, my Denman, my white tooth comb, and I just like plan it up. Like that's another, that's where you can use like a cheap leave-in or something if you know it's gonna get rinsed out in an hour, just use some kind of cheap leave-in. So of course, that's another rule I'm breaking in terms of wetting my hair often. 
Because sometimes I wear it the night before to detangle and deep condition and everything, and it gets wet the next day. But it's kind of unavoidable in these cases where, for one, you want your hair to be as detangled as possible, and for two, the stylists insist on washing it themselves. So that's another kind of rule I break in terms of frequent washing. So we have silicones, combs, brushes, frequent washing. Yeah, all those rules are broken. So yeah, I think it's okay to break some rules if you know the stylist is going to break it worse. Or if it's like self-defense against something the stylist is going to do. Make sure you hunt for a good stylist and make sure you hold on to her or him if you find him or her. <laughs> so I hope these tips were helpful and thanks so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to kind of see more of my journey. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!